Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem and Akshay by Shem Rakai to the 144,000 of the rest of the elect out there. Shalom to you all. What I'm going to title this video These are they which came out of great tribulation. This is from Revelation 7, verse 14. And I said unto him, Sir, thou knoweth. I'm sorry. 13 verse. Matter of fact, you know what? Let me start from the very top. And I'll breeze through this. Uh, this is the future prophecy of the gathering of the elect. That's why I, when I open, when I do open uh, any video, I start off with, uh, you know, praising Yahweh or Yahweh Shai. In the name of Yahweh Shai. In the name of the, uh, with the power of the um, Holy Spirit. And then I'll say, you know, blessings and shalom to the 144,000 and the rest of the elect out there. Because the Most High is not saving all the Israel, so we we have no business going out, spreading, spreading ourselves thin all over the world. Because you go to certain places, like you have IUIC, they go into Africa, but there's Israelites all throughout Europe that look like Edomites. So it's humanly impossible to uh, reach all of Israel because you're going to have Israelites that look like Edomites and look like Moabites. Is there IUIC Japan? <laughs> I believe there is. <laughs> because there's a, a, a Afro community, Afro-Japanese community, however you say it. Is there... Um, uh, IUIC Vietnam. See, you gotta, you, you know, it says in Matthew 10, not so many words, I'm not gonna go to it. It says, uh, you will not go throughout all the cities, I'm paraphrasing, uh, from Matthew 10, until I come, meaning the, um, and by the way, the Great Commission is not uh, Matthew 28 19, the Great Commission is in Matthews 10. See, they'll use Matthews, I believe it's 28, 19, to say, see, the, the Lord, this is what the Lord Jesus said to go out to, to all the nations. Well, then he, then he's uh, speaking out of both sides of his mouth because he said if you go uh, 18 verses back, uh, chapters, in uh, Matthew 10, he says, don't go to the, specifically said, don't go to the Gentiles. So, there, you know, there's a contradiction right there. Or is there? No, the nations that, that we were to go to in uh, Matthew 28 19 are the Israelites. As a matter of fact, let's go into that. This is almost a back to basics lesson. Oh, the new moon. I mean, the, the the Sabbath is based upon a new moon. Now, I, I received a comment from uh, uh, was the brother out of the elder out of Baltimore, Karatazaba. He said he had asked a question to the Wi-Fi, and he said they still haven't came back. And that that goes out to all you camps. What is the new the the Sabbath, if the first time, well, one of the first times the Sabbath is mentioned in uh, the scripture is uh, Leviticus 23. I believe it's in there before that as well. Well, it is. But Mo Moses gives the sons of Israel a uh, complete list of those high holy days. And then there's some others that came afterward, but those are the main high holy days that the Most High gave to Moses to give to the sons of Israel. And, the, and he says, these are the feasts that you shall proclaim about, among all your generations. The uh, Holy con uh, Convocation, which is a calling, you know, to call the people. And the first one was the Sabbath. It says six days shall work be done in the seventh of the Sabbath. So when, what is the starting point of six days? It was on a Tuesday, it was on a Wednesday, it was on a Friday. 
you none none of y'all can tell none of y'all if you if if the elder asked each and every one of you camps to teach that you wouldn't have an answer only on the only other camp that teaches that the way we teach it is a Sakari. Sakari teaches it the way we teach it. Just saying. Okay, where did I say I was going to go? Okay, let's go to Matthews 28. The 19, I believe. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. The ghost, ghost is geist, Greek word geist, which means spirit. This is why we say uh, Raka Kwadash or Raka HaKwadash or Raka uh, Spirit Ha Kwadash, the Holy. So some, some, some men in GMS say Raka HaKwadash, which you could say it that way, or Raka Kwadash. It says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them. And baptism means what? Not just dunking them in water, although that was symbolic. We don't have to baptize them. When you're baptizing them, you're teaching them the word in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. So let's look up some of these words. Let's look up the word nation by teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Oh, he commanded us to keep the law. So. What are these? What nations are keeping the law? What nations are acknowledging that the Heavenly Father is a, is a, a dark-skinned man with woolly hair? So let's say it was given to the nations. How many of those nations are going to say, "Yep, the Most High is a so-called black man. His son is black. The Israelites are black. You, the tribe of Judah. You, the tribe of Gad." And they will acknowledge that they are going into slavery, pursuant to they're going to be under 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 us. I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Now the word there should be uh, age. As a Christian, what's the difference between world and Matthew? Just to have fun with them idiots. Matthew, uh, what's the difference between Matthew 28 and 20 and John 3.16? What's the difference between them words world? Oh, it means the same thing. It's world, W-O-R-L-D. It means the same thing. Okay, good. I see why you don't work, write publications or books on the subject because you're not an expert when it comes to the Bible. Now these Christian scholars are because they know. They know they know America is Babylon the Great. They, they don't, they don't want to speak on it because that would be considered the unspeakable. Uh, teaching. And the word is didexco. That's where you get the word uh, disciple, if I'm not mistaken. A disciple is a student. And then he becomes a teacher and he has disciples. Them to observe all things with us. So as I command thee, you and to um, always, even unto the end of the... Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. It was not. Well, I didn't. I didn't tell you what the word "world" here is in Matthew's. Even unto the end of the eon. Now, the word "eon" means a time of rulership. So he says you got to keep preaching until this current rulership is done away with, which is the Roman rulership. But the the Israelites at that time, starting with the apostles didn't realize that there was going to be a part two of this eon. And that's what the thousand years in Revelation, they come out after a thousand years to deceive the nation once again. In Revelation 20, when it talks about Gog and Magog, that's talking about going back to Christopher Columbus and ending with Gog and Magog. Re uh, Revelation 13, the first couple of verses, it speaks about the beast. And it says that the, the feet of it are bit of the feet of the bear. The bear represent what? It represent Russia. That's why I mentioned Gog and um, Gog and Magog, because Gog, Russia, the Rush, 
the uh, the chief prince. That's what it means. Russia is Hebrew for chief prince. Um, um, uh, Meshach goes into the word. When you go into it, it's the Hebrew word. Um, I believe it's Ma Mashak, if I'm not mistaken. But Moscow is a Hebrew word. Russia is a Hebrew word. So the word is eon, which is a time of rulership. The Egyptians had their eon, right? The Greeks had their eon. The Medio Persians had their eon. The uh, Babylonians had their eon. The Russians were given, I mean the Romans were given two eons. That's what's meant by the thousand years they're going to come out, Gog and Magog, because they're going to they're going to be the end part. The beginning of that thousand years I'm coming out is Christopher Columbus. The end is the Russians because they, they're going to end it. So that's an extension of the beast. But Russia was not originally part of the beast, the Roman Empire. It was never part of the beast, the Roman Empire. Never part of it. So you got to, you got to, you know, change. Don't be teaching that no more, Bishop Nate or... Um, Malachi, don't be don't be teaching that no more. If Bishop Nate don't want to change, and Malachi and the rest of y'all just start teaching it the right way. And when he come up, roll, come up in your face, tell him get back, Jack. I'm having a little fun here. Anyway, you gotta have a little fun. You gotta bug out every once in a while. Anyway, uh, let's go. Let's go to the 19 verse. Go ye therefore, you're speaking to the, uh, starting with the, uh, the uh, apostles, and teach. And we've reached more than the apostles, than, than Yahawashai reached. We re reach more than the apostles reached. We, we reach more than the apostle Paul reached. And teach. Let's look up the word teach. When you're teaching music, if you're teaching a kid, you know, like these Edomite kids and some Jakes, they'll have uh, Edomites that are well-to-do. They'll have uh, a music teacher, piano guy will come to the house and teach their son or their daughter how to play piano. And they call him maestro, maestro, which is master. Now, you're not going to hire a piano player that don't, that not, that's not a good piano. He got to know the piano. You got to know all the notes. You can't miss any notes. You know? Same thing with the scriptures. You got to know the whole book. You can't call yourself a teacher unless you're qualified to teach. You got to know the whole... A teacher in a regular public school, private school, whoever, they get a degree, a master's degree, meaning they mastered how to teach third grade or uh, the third grade or whatever. Or they might be like you're going to high school, junior high, high school, you have uh, a science teacher. Well, you're not going to get an English teacher to be a, over the science, the, 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 the science uh, class. You got a guy that knows science. The gym teacher, he knows athletics. So when, when you call yourself a man of the Lord, a prophet, the most high dealing with you, you better know every aspect of the scriptures. I'm ranting a little bit, but please forgive me. So let's listen. Strong's G, 3100, Mathe 2 Mathe 2 To be a disciple of one, to follow his precepts and instructions, to make a disciple, to teach, instruct. These different various men that came up under us back starting from 20, 2007 on YouTube, they're no longer disciples, they're teachers. So if they're fellow uh, teachers of ours. These guys are teachers, man. They received the, the foundation and they built upon it. And And all members of GMS have to teach the same thing. And they have to do the same thing. You all had required, if you're part of the camp, you got to go out on the highways and the byways. You know, you got to put up, constantly put up videos. You know, some of y'all 
for different reasons. The brothers love to put up videos, other brothers not so, but you still got to put up videos, you still got to teach. So let's come on back. So we're just pulling out some words. Teach. Let's deal with the word nations. The word is ethnos. Strong's G, 1484, ethnos. Ethnos. Ethnos, ethnos which means a multitude of individuals of the same nature or genus, gene. Then it says tribe, nation, people, group, worship, pagans. Paul used the term for Gentile Christians. Now this word Paul used Paul uses the term for Gentile Christians. What is a Gentile Christian? A Gentile Christian is a, a Cornelius. He was an Israelite that didn't know that he was an Israelite when he was born in his parents' house and through dealing among the various Israelites out there that they had the gospel of the Messiah, he gave alms and he prayed and he did everything right. And the angel came to him. He wasn't no Edomite for you idiots out there. He was an Israelite. I was raised up to be, you know, like a Roman soldier, an Italian. He was a he was a so a captain, had a high rank and had a big house. And him and his house was family was saved. So so when it says all nations, it's talking about all Israelites. Sometimes we're called gent even people Gentiles so let me come back over here oh this is this is really why I inspired I got inspired by watching this right here they're living in NYC frozen streets this was put up by Cash Jordan and I told Apostle Gabor I said did you do you do you uh, check out any Cash Jordan videos he said no, I never heard of him I said yeah you should check him out he, pre they, he does pretty good videos He's like a real estate guy, but he he's from New York, but he goes to different areas of the uh, city and so forth. He's good, good show, good show. Anyway, um, so this right here from Cash Jordan, it was pick, put up a day ago. I wanted to watch it, I couldn't. Uh, it says they're living on NYC's frozen streets, and he's a for the most part Venezuelans what we're finding out is if you watch various videos especially like the Alex Jones you know the uh, Odyssey videos you know videos that normally will not go up on YouTube they're showing um but even on regular on YouTube too they're showing and regular news they're showing Moabites I mean Moabites from the land of Moab you know they're showing Moabites from the land of Moab grouped all together, speaking, you know, maybe one can speak broken English. Then they're showing Nigerians. There was an interview with this Nigerian cat, and he had a, a, a hoodie on, hooded sweat. It's not a hoodie. It's a hooded sweatshirt, okay? Anyway, that came from Jake. Jake used to call it a hoodie. Now Esau called it, Moab started calling it a hoodie. We got hoodie. Jake. You know, sets the trend, set the style. Anyway, it was a Nigerian dude, and he had a Nike shirt on. And he said, yeah, I'm from Nigeria. He had a broke, broken English. So they got, you got Elam, you got Arabs, you got Moab. And they, they're all sweeping up from South America, from Venezuela through the, what's that gap? I forget the name of the gap. I forget the name of the goddamn gap, but they come up through Panama, through Mexico, into America. So how did they know, how did these Moabites know to come up through there? Oh, the Nigerian dude said he had to, he had to go through 11 countries to get to this place. And when you come, come up with that, that gap, I can't think of the name, the gap, the something gap. They said sometimes they got tigers out there. And the animals that are killed, some people get killed, they get attacked, 
And they got to fight these these tigers or pumas or whatever. Sometimes you might lose a, a, a newborn baby, your, your woman. Some women just say, fuck it, I'm going to sit here and just die. There was a documentary on that. But, um... You, like I said, you don't, you don't, and the, oh, a lot of these groups, I, I, forget, I don't know if it's Moab or Arabs or Ele Elamites, a lot of those groups, when they showed, panned out and showed the people, they were all men of military age, meaning from the age of seven, 18 officially, but 17 to about 25, they're all military age men. So what's really going on? And how did the Chinese or the Moab and Nigerians and all the Elam and the Arabs and stuff. How did they know to come over here? Because they were told to come. They were set up to come. There, there's some shit going on behind the scenes, man. We don't know what this is going to lead to, but we know it's going to lead to something bad. But the details. And see, the, Ameri the, the U.S. citizens, American people, they don't know what's going on. They don't, they, they're clueless as to what's going on. They don't understand. They can't spell cons conspiracy. And no, conspiracies, conspiracy theorists are not nuts. As a matter of fact, they're, they're highly intelligent. For you to, to see that there's a conspiracy afoot, that means you have high intelligence. It's not, but you're taken to be a nut. This is why Bishop Nathaniel made that statement. He said, conspiracy, conspiracy theorists are generally nut. Well, wait a minute. The people that call themselves the, the Jays, and we're the Jays, isn't that a conspiracy? Isn't that a conspiracy? This, uh, uh, there's so many conspiracies out there. There's so many conspiracies out there. But the fact that Edomites are going to the bank to get a loan, and you can't, you as a J can't get that loan. Is that a conspiracy? Yes, it's a conspiracy. The fact that Edomites have, can get certain jobs that you can't, certain colleges that they can go to, that, you, that Jake can't go to, even though you, 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 know, you have a high IQ and you prove yourself in the SATs, well, it's, it's a reason why. They, if they said, look, we're going to let Jake come in, we're going to let you come in based upon your merits. Jake, uh, Moab would take over, man. The, uh, Moab, Ammon, Jake. And the reason why it's set up that way, because it's a conspiracy. Now, there's a movie out. Now, I don't know if it plays free on YouTube. It's called, uh, I believe it's called Conspiracy Theory. With the racist-ass Melly, <laughs> the racist-ass Melly Gibson. L. Mel Gibson. And he plays the lead character. And I believe Julia Roberts was in the movie, too. But they portrayed this guy in the movie as a complete nut. But he was a conspiracy theorist. He wasn't crazy at all. He was, he was um, of high intelligence. So anybody that makes a statement, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist, that makes, makes you a nut. No, that makes you a man of a higher intelligence than normal people. There's a term, what's the term? I hadn't used it in a while. Um, normacy bias. Normacy bias. That's what the majority of the American people are suffering from. I'm not going to go into it. Let somebody put it in. Maybe the spirit will come back on me. Normalcy bias means you just go with the crowd. Another, another uh, term is a herd mentality. Well, everybody's doing it. I might as well go ahead. Oh, the, uh, the jump shot, right? The people that went and did it because that was normalcy bias. If a bunch of people say, I ain't taking it, I ain't taking it, then you wouldn't take it. But because a lot of people say, go ahead and take it, because you're going to die, that's normalcy bias. That's, that's a herd mentality. You understand? So anyway, this right here is just, like I said, I was inspired by this video. You can watch the rest of it. If you can get... The movie Conspiracy Theorist, the Conspiracy Theory, with Mel, the racist ass Melly Gibson. Why, why did I say that? If you if you watch, uh, what's his, what's his key, uh, the two Jakes, the comedians. I don't even watch him. Key and whatever, 
whatever their names is. The brother that did the movie, uh, that did the movie, uh, Get Out. You know, him and him and his partner in crime. They did, they did a thing on movies, and every time they mentioned Mel Gibson, they would say the racist ass Melly Gibson. And anyway, them them Israelites are funny, but anyway, anyway. So when I saw this, I thought about immediately thought about Revelation chapter seven. So I'm, you know, I'm stretching this out. Anyway, it says here. So this is getting ready to happen. The thousand years that the the beast shall come out, Gog and Magog, is the end of the beginning of it was uh, Christopher Columbus. The end of it is the Russians. The Russians going to end it. The, the Russians are going to bring the curtain down. The Most High going to use the Russians to bring the curtain down on the system. So let me go ahead and breeze through this. And after these things, I saw uh, four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, north, south, east, and west, holding the four uh, winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel Ascending from the east, uh, having the uh, seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice, saying to the four angels to whom it was given. And this is also in Revelation 16 uh, and also in Revelation uh, 9. Speaks about the four angels in the, in the Euphrates given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees. What's going to hurt the earth, the missiles? What part of the earth? America. Re uh, Revelation chapter 8 is talking about this destruction. Uh, uh, trees. Till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. So who has he sealed? The 144,000 and the rest of the elect. Because they're sealed too. They wouldn't be delivered unless they were sealed. Give me a second. Okay, I had to take that call. Anyway, so we know this by heart, right? Let's talk about now. So the 144, I be, my personal belief is that they're all, so they all numbered, they're, they're among us, but I believe they're all sealed. They heard the word one or another. Like I said, we don't have to go, we don't have to spread ourselves throughout the whole planet Earth, like Africa. We don't got to deal with no Africa. We got to deal with Australia. Australia. We don't got to go to Russia. You got Jake's in Russia. You got Jake's on the top of the climbing the Himalaya mountains. You gonna go up there and set up a camp? The main focus is right here in America because salvation is not coming to the Israelites in um, Africa. Because what are they gonna be saved from? There ain't gonna be no missiles dropped on the continent of Africa as a whole. The the miss the missiles the, the salvation is to be saved from this. Uh, eminent destruction. So like I said, I'm going to breeze through this because we all know this. It says, and I heard the number of them which were sealed. 
and uh, there was sealed and 144,000 of all the tribes of the, ch of the sons of Israel. Now you got this clown, uh, um, Vocab Malone, saying, well, that's not talking about the Israelites. Well, it says right here, children of Israel. It says children of Israel. And he said, you know how we can know? Because uh, Ephraim is not there. Uh, Ju uh, Daniel, even the so-called high priest, Zach said, uh, the, the uh the 12 tribes is, is wrong based upon uh, 144. Most I took the spirit from them, you know. So let me let me do this. It says 144,000 of all the tribes of the sons of Israel. I should say sons of Israel. So let's look that up. The main thing I want is the ninth verse. And this is going to answer a question to somebody that said, well, how can you say the Lord? put on my comment section in one of my videos how can you say the Lord's only coming for Israelites when um they quoted uh Revelation 9 uh 7 and 9 and those the revel is great multitude of every nation are the Israelites okay I heard the number of them 144,000 back to the basics let's look up the word tribe Fule. Fule. A tribe in the New Testament. All the persons descending from one of the 12 sons of the patriarch Jacob. A nation of people. So the tribes are talking about the Israelites. Uh, when Peter made that statement in uh, Acts 10. I believe it's Acts 10 and 28. Matter of fact, you know what? Let's go to Acts. Matter of fact, let's do it this way. Oh, let's do it this way. Fule. Okay, it's not here. But if you go to Acts 10 verse, I believe it's 28 verse, if I'm not mistaken. Where, uh, the matter of fact, I'm going to go to it. You got to go into those root words. A sc biblical scholar, when he writes a book, he goes into the... He doesn't just read a scripture and write, this means this and that means that. He goes into the root of each and every word. You know, if you just... You're not going into no Hebrew and no Greek. Another thing, you got to go into maps too. Mention certain geographical areas. In, on on the on the planet in the Bible, so you got to go. Into, you got to know maps. Anyway, um, what I said I was going to go X. X ten. Let me go to twenty. I'm positive it's in twenty eight. Back to the basics. Back to the basics. Okay, here it is. Uh, Acts 1028. And he said unto them, Ye know how that it is an unlawful thing for a man that is a Yahweh, the Yah, a Judite, to keep company or come unto one of another nation. Because Cornelius looked like he, he might have had tribal marks, bald head, no beard. He, wouldn't have, he didn't have fringes on. He didn't speak the language, but the Most High have showed me that I should not call any man common or unclean. That's what the sheep of the unclean animals represent. They represented Israel. So that word nation, right? The word there is Fule, which means tribe of Israel. Alof, Alof, Olos. It just means foreigner. But there, it's a com common. Um, it's a, a compound word, meaning one, two or more words. 
to make one word. All right, what is it? It says another. A los. Fole. Another tribe. And here's the answer. So Peter knew that <clears throat> Cornelius was of another tribe. He didn't necessarily knew, know exactly what tribe. He had an idea. It could be Judah, Benjamin, Levi. Going back to the history. That's why you need the Apocrypha. Because it goes back to the Maccabees. During the, when they forced them not, not to be Israelites. So you got some guys teaching. Even Bishop Nate said that he went off on that too. Which is not, you know, a terrible thing. But a lot of times they'll go into the old New Testament which speaks about going to the other nations and, or, or Cornelius, and they'll say, well, oh, Cornelius was of the northern kingdom. No, he was not of the northern kingdom. Because if he was in the northern kingdom, he'd have been his ass over, there in, in, over here in America. It goes back into the time of the Maccabees. When they were fought, and a lot of the Jakes said, no, nah, we, we don't want to die, so we're going to eat pork, we're going to dress like the Greeks, we're going to learn how to speak Greek, we're going to intermarry among actual Greeks, so that's what, what Cornelius, Cornelius' parents did. They were, they were part of that going back to, uh, there's no history on Cornelius. Anybody writes a book, what really happened to Cornelius, you niggas go out and buy it, not realizing the dude that wrote the book just made the shit up. Just made it up. So you, you jakes are very gullible, man. I was thinking the other day, if, if I wanted to, or any of the brothers or men, and GMS, and that, uh, for that matter, any of the One West camps. We can actually make up a religion, make up a God, you know, make write a book, put that shit together, and then pass it to Jake. Jake will follow you, man. You can make up, like, like a, you know, answer a lot of community Muslim, right? I used to open up them magazines, and I used to laugh. And Jake was believing that shit. Jake was believing that shit. That crap that this guy was teaching. That crap in blue, blue skies that uh, Dr. York was teaching. Even in the movie X, the Malcolm X movie, a lot, the guy that played Elijah Muhammad had uh, Malcolm X in, his, in his, uh, his room, office, and he showed him some water. He said, you see this water? He said, if you give it to the people, they'll drink it. Even if it's dirty, they'll still drink it. Well, that's true. You got dirty water out there. The the um, black consciousness community that's that's muddied water. But Jake will still drink it. Jake will still drink it. That's muddy water, with worms all in it and shit. Cause Jake don't know. So, you should count yourself blessed that the Most High led you to this truth, and you did not waver. That's why you brothers, you elders out there of the various states. Um, y'all got to be of the elect. Y'all got to be of the 144,000. It was told to Daniel in Daniel chapter 10 that you are well beloved in the heavens. The Father, the Son, they love you. In the New Testament it says that, that, that how the, the Lord honoreth the, uh, the disciples or the apostles. Because we didn't, we didn't took the, the, we didn't took the, 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 what do you call that? Uh, the baton, and we ran with it, man. We didn't took the ball and ran with it. Like my man Prime Time. Or like my man OJ. He, he watched OJ, brother, when he, sh man. That boy was so good, they let him marry a fine ass Edomite. Well, she was a Jake. She's definitely a Jake. Anyway, um, let me come on back into this. So when um, this guy comes up with this nonsense about, uh, oh, that's talking about uh, 
the church, I'm not talking about Israel. It says right here, the tribes, the word is fole, which means tribe, any of the tribes of Israel. Cornelius was an Israelite. He was of one of the tribes. But Peter didn't necess necessarily know whether he was Jew to Benjamin or Levi, of the, of the children of Israel, or sons of Israel. Then it mentions Judah. It, it, it doesn't mention Dan. We'll find out wh what happened to Dan. He had to be mingled among the tribes. <clears throat> um, Ephraim, it doesn't mention Ephraim, but it mentions Joseph. Which Joseph, if you know the scriptures, Joseph and Ephraim are interchangeable. As in Jacob and Judah, or Jacob and Israel is interchangeable. The scriptures sometimes refer to us as Jacob. O ye sons of Jacob. So, I'm going to get ready to close it. Kind of stretching out. Uh, Revelation 7 and 9. After this I be I be held and lo a great multitude, which no man could number of all nations, Israelites, and kindreds, right? Nations, kindreds, and people. There's a term. Nations and people are the same thing. Nations, kindreds, and tongues, right? That's um, hand, hand diatrician, a hand diatris, hand diatris, hand diatrician, which means three in one. There's a Latin term for two in one. So when it says nations, kindreds, uh, nations and people are the same, kindreds and people are the same, tongues and languages, that's all talking about the same people, the Israelites, stood before the throne and before the Lamb. That's in the kingdom. That's after the dis deliverance. So a lot of these people that came from Venezuela, part of them are, the, are part of the 144,000, part of the elect. Now, can I tell you for sure? No, I can't tell you for sure. But why are they up here? Then they, sh then they shall come. Clothes with white robes. That's in the kingdom. And palms in their hands. And that's when the crowns are going to be delivered. And cry with a loud voice saying, Salvation to our power, which sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb, Yahweh Shai. And all the angels stood around about uh, the throne, and about the elders, uh, and the uh, four beasts. That's in the uh, spiritual realm. And fell before the throne, uh, on their fa on their faces and worship the Most High. The word there should be Yahweh, saying, "Amen." Or so be it. Blessed and, glo and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving, and honor and power and might be unto our power. Forever and ever, Amen. Forever and ever means what? There's not going to be. It says, "Um, world." The script in Isaiah, "World without end." So this nonsense about Gog and Magog going to come up a thousand years later and jump us, that's, that's a fairy tale. And one of the elders answered, say, uh, saying unto me, what are these which are arrayed in white robes? And that represents all of us that are of the elect, the hundred, starting with the 144,000. And once come day, and I said unto him, sir, and I bet you that word, sir, is Kyrie. So let's see if I'm correct. Let's see if I'm correct. I was right. Kairos, which means superior. When you go to the New Testament and it, you come across the word Lord, my Lord, Yahweh Shai, the word there is Kairos. Not Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. And I said unto him, Sir, uh, thou knoweth. And he said unto me, These are they which come, came. 
had a great tribulation. What's the great tribulation? The time of Jacob's trouble. Um, Jeremiah 30. Daniel uh, 12. Revelation 12. The destruction. It's all going to come from... The, the time of Jacob's trouble is when the missiles come. All hell's going to break loose. Then the missiles, then the, the war is going to come. The Armageddon is going to come and destroy this place. And the ones that are of the elect that have been sealed will be delivered. If you're if you're sealed and you're another part of the world, you're going to be sealed too, from one end of heaven to the other. So you got brothers in other countries that are the elect that are teaching the word that they're going to be delivered. But the most I ain't coming to Africa and delivering all of all the Jakes in Africa. If some of them are of the elect, they're going to be delivered. The rest of them that are Jakes in Africa, they're going to remain there and they're going to be watching the news on how, how America was destroyed. Smoke bellowing from the, the, um, the U.S. And then we're going to go, the kingdom of heaven or the new Jerusalem coming down from heaven is that ship, Yahweh Shai's ship, that we're going to come, that's the kingdom of heaven or the new Jerusalem coming back down. And what we're going to do, we're going to come out and we're going to be the X-Men, the Avengers, the, uh, you know, the uh, Marvel comic, you know, superheroes. But we're going to all have all powers. Like Kalel, all powerful. And we're going to take the whole world down. And then some of them are going to try to fight us with their weapons. And we're going to do like Magneto. You, I might even say that. if I, I said, you homo sapiens and your guns. And he turned the, the gun on them. And the reason why they call the X-Men, the word X means the unknown. So we are the X-Men. Because it's unknown as to who we are. The world doesn't know who we are. That's why, you put, that's why they got them J's. With the, the, they lawyer up. They put things together and they'll bring you to court and they'll do this because they're living a lie they got to keep lawyering up if you're a bad guy right if you're a guy that's oh donald trump <laughs> donald anytime you see donald trump walking with a group of people with suits guarantee you half of them are fucking lawyers because if you're a fucking criminal if you're an arch criminal you committed all kind of criminal acts you're gonna have the best lawyers around you so Hence the Jays. The Jays got them. They lawyer. They got top. They got top lawyers. You want to win a case? Get you a J lawyer. Get you a J lawyer. You're gonna win that case, All right? So that's what the, this group, the Jays, the JJs, they always lawyer up. It's like Donald Trump. He learned that from the Jays. He's a J, probably a J his damn self. All them people that you see around him, the ninety percent of them are fucking lawyers, man. He rubs elbows with lawyers because you got to have a lawyer because you're doing a, a hunter. Hunter uh, Biden, him, he's lawyered up. Oh, I didn't do that and this and that. Yeah, I did that, but there's a lawyer that says this and a lawyer. They're lawyered up just like these JJs, man. You can only keep a lie going for so long. If you're the top lawyer on the planet, right, and, you, and you're dealing with a case to get your defendant, you know, acquitted, and they got the shit on film, that you did it, what the fuck are you going to do? Not a goddamn thing. So the whole world began to see the children of Israel, starting with the elect, starting with the, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, the, um, the, um, elect, the, elect, the elected one, the prophets. So the answer to this great multitude is what? Very simple. For the person that asked the question, let me do this. Very simple. I'm not even going to read the whole chapter. I'll go right to the point. So the book being unsealed, Yahweh Shai unsealed the book for us. We're going right to the point. And 
they sung a and they sung a new song saying thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof for thou was slain and have redeemed us the Israelites to the most high by thy blood died on the cross for Israelites starting with the elect out of every kindred tongue people and nation And has made us unto our power kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. The, king, the, the nation that's going to come become a nation of kings and priests are, are who? The nation of Israel. That's a fulfillment of Exodus 19. In the third month, when the children of Israel, sons of Israel were going out for of Egypt, the same day came uh, they unto the wilderness of Sinai. Uh, and Moses said, I want the Lord, Lord, call unto the heaven mountain, saying, uh, Thus shalt thou say to the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel, so we were called Jacob sometime. Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians of Mizraim, and how I bear you on eagles' wings. Now, did, did an eagle come down and grab us up? Eagles' wings is parabolic talk for us, get, making a great escape, and brought you unto myself. Uh, therefore, if ye will obey my voice and it, voice indeed and keep my covenant the laws and ye shall be a particular treasure Peter said that spoke about that unto me above all people for all the earth is mine he's who's he talking to Israel and ye the Israelites shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a what a holy nation these are the words which thou shall speak unto the what the children of Israel so now if you come back to Revelation it says the same thing a kingdom of priests anyway like I said this was pretty much basic going back to the basics with that I'm going to say Shalom